right so after the discoveries let us start with the first topic that is jobberina triads right <clears throat> so what actually is jobberina what did you discover let us first learn how to write an exam so basically in the exam there are three ways to mention first of all you should write when was it discovered right after it discovered you are going to write about discoverer which person has discovered it which year then which person has discovered that after that you will be writing what is the definition of that after that you will be writing the example of that and finally you will be writing limitations so this is very very important for every concept you write right so now i have picked up dobberina's triads first i need to write when was it discovered isn't it or invented so first of all when i have to write the discovery part of it this was basically discovered in 1829 isn't it in 1829 the discovery was made by whom i am writing the discoverer this was discovered by so in 1829 john john okay right john dobberina John Dobrina has discovered this. What was the name of this table? He has in 1829. John Dobrina has discovered has discovered what? It is called law. Put it in inverted commas and write it in capital letters. Law of triads. So you are going to write in this way and underline this. Now wait, wait. What was it dependent on? It was basically dependent on. Okay, law of triads, let us write, which was dependent on, dependent on physical property, physical or chemical properties if I have to write, which are dependent on physical and chemical properties, so which are similar properties rather, right, so what did he do, right, first of all I have written this, I have written this and started with the introduction, now I need to write the definition, before writing the definition let me see what he has done what he has discovered and then we'll come to the definition i'm writing the definition here so what he did is he's picked up set of, now i said it's almost uh, very few elements discovered during that time so what he did is he's picked up set of three elements one two and three like that set of three elements that's why it is called triads triads means three right so this set he has picked up and when this done after that he has picked up one more set like calcium strontium and barium so this is one set or one triad and then this is one more triad fine calcium strontium barium now, then what did he say then he has picked up one more set that is sulfur selenium and tellurium and there is one more set chlorine bloomin and fluorine okay so what he did is first initially he worked on these two sets he said when the elements were arranged accord means when the similar elements were arranged on what basis on the based on their physical and chemical properties means the similarity should be there in the uh, physical and chemical properties right comma then he said the atomic weight of the uh, center element you need to start from here once again when the elements or similar elements were arranged based on their properties the atomic weight of the center element is the average of the atomic weight or the sum uh, mean of the atomic weight of so the first element and the third element once again when the elements were arranged or similar elements were arranged i have written that let us write what is the definition when put it in inverted commas similar elements these are similar elements, this is similar which similarity in the properties. When similar elements are arranged, arranged in a set of three. Means in a set of three. That's where triad is it? In a set of three. Then what should you start? The atomic weight of the center element. The atomic weight of the center element center element is the average or the mean of is the average or mean of what what mean it is the average or mean of the atomic weights of the first element and the third element average or mean of uh, mean of the atomic weights atomic weights of first and third element that's it this is what he has told us right this is also done 
fine so now what happened he has to prove his uh, definition isn't it so he started right find he took the weights of this then so definition is over i need to take the example i've written here example so this example will come here please take that example here now what he did is he has picked up certain set the first set with similar properties was lithium sodium potassium then next set was calcium strontium barium so he said <coughs> the atomic weight 7 23 39 okay what he said the atomic weight that is 7 plus 39 and the average of this will give the atomic mass of the center element 23 done next he took calcium strontium and barium he said the atomic weight of the first element and the atomic weight of the last element and their mean or the average because there are two quantities so i have taken two is equal to the atomic weight of the center element eight this is also valid that's fine so because he has arranged a set of three it is called as law of triads but now the same thing what will you write you will take this one as here this example is here that's over next comes limitations now uh, limitations means what could not he explain when it comes to limitations part the most important thing when he started applying this concept that uh, the way addition or the sum of this one this one divided by two is this this was valid for first set this concept was valid for the second set this one this also was valid this also was valid but he could not apply his theory or he could not apply his assumptions to further why when he took sulfur selenium and tellurium 32 plus your know, 128 by 2 if i have to take it is not equal to 78 isn't it it is more almost i think it 80 or something right so it's 160 by 280 so not equal the the theorem or this particular assumption was not valid to this set further when he came to chlorine bromine and fluorine right so when he added 35.5 plus 127 divided by 2 it is not equal to 80 it is almost 81.25 or something so this also was not valid so what is the thing Dobriner, though he has given us the idea of arranging the elements his concept of law of triads were limited to only two sets let's come back once again Dobriner, the discovery was this the theorem is this but it says when similar elements were arranged the atomic mass of the first element and the third element and the average is equal to the center element that one you have written after that in example you have drawn this table last would be the limitations you will say Dobriner triads was applicable only to two sets that is lithium sodium potassium calcium strontium and barium but it was not valid to further elements like other elements when they started applying this concept to other elements like sulfur selenium tellurium not applicable chlorine bromine fluorine not applicable hence this is a limitation part of Dobriner so this is a Dobriner triad students let's come back and learn Newlands octaves <clears throat> right so now let's come back and learn the next concept that is john that is new lines octave so the law which was given is called as we call it as law of octaves we can write it as law of octaves also right now as soon as you start explaining the concept in the exam first important as i said first write the discoverer the a time period or when was it discovered then you will you'll be writing about the discoverer who has discovered it then you'll be explaining what is the name of the table then comes back to the definition then comes comes back to the example then you should write the limitations all these five should be there so what what is it first you should write the year when it was discovered then you should write who are who is the discoverer who has done this after that what is the name of the table which we are which we are going to learn next would be the definition part after that you're going to write or uh, take the example of this then would be your limitations when you write all these things only you'll be given full marks right so first we are according to the concept given which year was it discovered it was basically discovered in 1865 then <clears throat> now so before this there is one more spiral arrangement that also we will see right so in 1865 who was the discoverer we call it as capital j capital a capital m new land okay so in some books it will be written as j stands for john john dot a dot m dot new land okay so right so what did he do what did he discover what he did discover is he has uh, given us a table called law of octaves so let's write in 1865 jam new land or john am new land has given us 
given us let us write that given us law of octaves done this is also over now after uh, what what else did he discover how many elements has he discovered when this in 1865 the number of elements he could discover was 56 so what are 56 elements were discovered he has made it in the tableau column right so 56 elements were discovered this is also over now you've given your teacher the basic information what you know now we need to write the definition part so this goes over this is over this is over and so i'll write the definition so for the definition i need space so i'm erasing this part of the board and i'll start writing the definition so uh, when we come to the definition concept first important thing just see what he did is whatever 56 elements he has got he has all arranged in the form of a tabular column but what is the concept in arranging he said elements with similar properties so first you should start when elements were arranged in the increasing order of their atomic weight so hydrogen okay helium was not discovered it was discovered later in Mendeleev's time so hydrogen after that lithium then beryllium then boron so you should start when elements were arranged were arranged what was the uh, criteria or range in the increasing order of atomic weight okay in the increasing order of atomic weight right this is concept now most important thing after writing atomic weight underline that so increasing order of atomic weight you will underline and put a comma then you will write increasing order of the atomic weight the property of the first element and the property of the eighth element so if this is one two three four five six seven and eight so this is one this is eighth so the properties of the first element and the properties of the eighth element are similar so let's uh, join the sentence when elements were arranged in the increasing order of the atomic weight the properties of first element and eighth element okay eighth th you can write eighth element or here only nothing to write h eighth element were similar eighth element were similar right what does it mean to say he said when you are arranging the 56 elements the property of the first element the eighth element is similar again if i take fluorine this is again if i take this is here i took this is one this will be eight now when i'm considering the second set this will be one again this is one two three four five six seven eight again this is the eighth element for this like that again this is the eighth element for this so every eighth element whichever has similar properties he has placed in this way done but problem starts where whatever concept he has given us definition is over whatever concept he has given us this was applicable only till calcium element only till this after that this element was the last element after this when he started arranging this the property now he started calcium till calcium is arranged now he's come he started arranging like this when he started arranging the properties of this and this has become dissimilar not similar Again, the property of this and this was not similar. These two properties are not similar, not similar, not similar. Like that, his law was he, his law was applicable only till calcium twentieth atomic number twenty and mass number forty. Right. So that will first I'll write the definition. Then I'll be coming to examples. So I have given this example list. Now, most what you should you remember after writing the definition, you should just say why has he arranged this concept or why has he written or why were the musical notes written here on the top these are the musical notes isn't it so he has taken 56 elements like this arranged after that he has mentioned this as a i mean he was uh, compared to musical notes sir re ga ma pa da ni sa why why was that ni and sir why because in the, in the musical instrument when you take an indian indian instrument to the western type of instrument the first note in the musical instrument if i take this the first note and the eighth note Note, both the notes are similar just watch that note and see the first note in the musical instrument as well as the eighth note both will sound in the similar way that's why the property of the first element as well as the eighth element both are similar just like your musical notes that's why he has picked up that so after the definition you can write in musical notes in musical instruments instruments the first note and and the eighth note 
both are similar means when you listen to that the modulation or the the frequency of first and the eighth eighth note is similar that's it just like these elements that's why we call it as law of octaves eight elements see here octave this is one octave from hydrogen to fluorine is one octave that's done from so this one to this from again fluorine to chlorine one more octave done so i have written that also good now i have to come to limitations limitation means why was this as a failure fine so the first limitation is this law was applicable only till calcium let us write that as the first limitation okay <coughs> was applicable till calcium only okay till calcium only done after that what happened he started arranging two two elements together in one table that's see here cobalt and nickel cerium and lanthanum of uh, means both the property he said both the properties will be similar and he has placed two elements in one table which not happen because two elements they should be similar in properties then only i can place isn't it so set of two elements what are they here in this case he has placed cobalt and nickel as well as cerium and lanthanum were placed like this at one place set so of two elements were placed under one table that is right were placed under one table that's also okay fine then what is the next limitation what is important is just observe carefully here where is our iron basically iron is here when i have to see the properties of fe iron and cobalt and nickel are similar when we go to mendeley period mostly periodic table those are those are transition elements so what i did is though the properties of cobalt and nickel as well as iron are similar he took that iron and placed in under oxygen family right so that is one more limitation so right and though iron properties are similar this is how i write similar to cobalt and nickel it is placed far away okay this is one more last limitation so hope students the understand first limitation this is applicable only to calcium similar properties next he has paid two two sets together in one third important though cobalt and nickel and iron properties are similar he has made a separate table those three were the limitations so because this law was further not we, they could not apply it to any other elements so only till calcium it was applicable so i have written the year done i have written the discoverer that is also done then i have given you the table Uh, what is that law of octaves why octaves because in musical instruments the first note and the eighth note both sound similar that and definition i have given example this is example limitations also i have given so this is how you are going to write it in the exam